This video will cover advanced Linmont Designer features. We will refine the application already created to determine what motor fits the best. This is a vertical application and the motor's thermal loading is near capacity. One way to reduce the motor's thermal load is to use a mag spring. To determine the size of the mag spring needed, click on the standstill and then expand the segment results. Notice that the peak force is negative, meaning the motor is engaged to keep the load up. The mag spring needed for this application needs to be greater than 26 newtons. We can check the installation guide to see if one fits this application. A 22 newton mag spring will work, but in the case of a failure, it will not support the load and a 40 newton mag spring is selected. In the global load settings, insert negative 40 in the external force. Notice that both the thermal loading and the peak supply decreased with the use of a mag spring. Now update the info tab to include the mag spring. Notice that this motor produces more force than this application needs. It is also important to keep the moving mass in mind. We still need to size up the x-axis for this pick and place. We will save the changes made to this file and document what has changed. The 23 series motors are smaller and lighter than the 37 series. To find the moving masses for the 23 series H-Guide, go back to the data sheets. For a guide with 80 millimeters of stroke, the moving mass is 610 grams. Scroll down to see the correct slider length for the guide. In the global settings, let's search for a different series of motor. The 23 by 160 will be a better fit for this application. Remember to double check the slider length. In the load settings, we will remove the mag spring. Then update the moving mass to be accurate with the smaller H guide. It's important to keep the info tab updated with the changes made. Click OK and see the results of the new motor selected. Notice the thermal warnings present. One way to remove this issue is to go back into the global settings and add a fan. The fan removes the thermal issue, but does not provide the safety the mag spring does in case of a power loss. To size the mag spring, look at the segment results for the standstill. In the global settings, we change the cooling method back to flange. We then check the MagSpring installation guide to see if there's one close to 20 newtons. We add negative 22 newtons to the external force, then click OK to save the changes. The thermal issues have been removed because of the MagSpring. And the peak supply has been decreased. The global settings also show the motor specifications. We see that the total mass is much less than the 37 series. Once again, we save a new file, keeping track of the changes. Thank you for watching Linmot Tutorials.